Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 7th, 2021. Well, my goodness, what a wild day we had yesterday with a big, strong move. Um, obviously, I was wrong yesterday in the fact that we are still willing to just dive in to the market pushing up because we're doing it again this morning um so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we want to approach the day on this tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Top of the morning, everyone. I want to wish you all a fantastic day in the market. And my goodness, we have a blockbuster setting up here this morning with another big pop. Now, there is a concern with this, and we will talk about that here in just a second. But um, as you can see, we are looking at a pre-market candle of a massive gap up in the market. And really, that's going on around the world. Asian markets were up very strongly overnight. European markets are huge hugely up this morning and we're following that through with a big pop up this morning today. So let's take a look at the technicals and see if we can kind of figure out or bring some rationality to this market. First off, let's take a look at price resistance in the chart. I've talked about that here over and over and over. We do have a fairly substantial price resistance level right here and we have another one right here in that chart. And notice we're trying to gap up into that range today. Now, one of the things I wanna point out is when we move this far, this fast in a market, and we gap up into price resistance and potential downtrend in the chart, one of the things I wanna to suggest to you is be careful rushing in this morning. As a matter of fact, yesterday, um, myself and several of the members of Right Way Options, we went long SPY calls yesterday. I will be closing those trades today. I, um, I took 75% of that profit yesterday after such a big move, and I um, or 75% of the position, and I will be taking um, the rest of the profit at the open today on this gap up. Gaps are gifts, and I intend to unwrap and pack away that gift right into my account. So I want to caution everyone to be careful. It's easy to get caught up in the fear of missing out and chase into a move like this and the reason I'm bringing that up is I want to remind everyone of the possibility of a pop and drop not suggesting that's what's going to happen but we do want to pay attention to that possibility after such a big move and we'll take a look at a, a couple other charts to suggest why that might be um, something to consider so watch that carefully here in the chart as we continue to push up in this market on this big gap up morning this morning let's take a look at the spy now spy also looking at a huge gap up this morning and once again we're pushing through pushed right through these resistance levels in the chart but we're pushing right up into this resistance level and keep in mind we've got a couple of those resistance levels in the chart as well now we don't have the same downtrend problem here that we do in the dow as a matter of fact i would say we've kind of if on this big gap we're breaking that downtrend in this chart but we do have to kind of keep in mind if we were to produce a pop and drop, if we pop up and then pull back, that actually could create that lower high and um, actually set a downtrend in place if that were to occur. So just kind of keep that in mind as we press these resistance levels and maybe press our luck just a little bit in rallying back or straight back up that we may run into a few bears here in the market. So watch that closely here in the chart. But I got to give this one up to the bulls. We're holding on to that 50 day moving average, pushing up strongly. I honestly am a little bit surprised to see the willingness to just dive right back in. That doesn't mean anything. What I believe and what I think doesn't matter. What price says, that's what matters. So watch carefully for that. And again, watch for that potential of the pop and drop. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. 
QQQ also rallying up strongly. Notice we broke right or held on to this price support. We breaking this price resistance level from yesterday that we were holding. Notice we had kind of a stalled out cues yesterday. It just really didn't get a whole lot going. And now all of a sudden we're surging overnight. And let's make note that we're popping right into the downtrend here of the chart. And we have additional price resistance levels in this chart right in that area. So watch carefully here this morning. We may have gone from a bit of an oversold condition to an overbought condition all at once. And that does set up that possibility of the pop and drop. So keep that in mind. Also, I want to keep it keep you um, in the loop here on this or keep you thinking about it, we still have that head and shoulders pattern here in place. So as we push back up, that's just a little bit of concern that we may be over overcooking this rally um, too quickly, too fast. So watch carefully for those potentials. Not suggesting that that has to occur. I'm only suggesting that the possibility does exist and you wanna be careful chasing this morning. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM uh, struggled early in the morning and then kind of picked up steam in the afternoon. But let's keep in mind we have got a long ways to go before we repair this chart. If you remember I've marked out this um, trend break right in here. We have significant levels of price resistance in this chart that we will be testing today. And let's not forget we still have an overall downtrend a year's worth of um, congestion in this area. So watch for that potential prop, pop and drop or even that possibility that we could kind of slip into more of a consolidating move over toward that downtrend resistance. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the VIX. One of the things that was interesting yesterday is although we had such a really, really strong response in the market yesterday, we didn't really get a big or a huge response in the VIX pulling back. So there was still quite a little bit of fear. Now this morning, um, overnight, it seems like um, um, our biggest moves come overnight anymore. And um, overnight, it seems like we dropped all of this fear um, altogether in the market. Um, that may be a good thing, but let's watch this carefully. If we push back or push down into some of these support levels, if we were to find um, a reason to bounce, that would be a problem for us. And keep in mind, we still have this uptrend. And we do have several levels in this chart. As you can see, we've got some support in there. We have support right around this 20 handle area in the chart. So it'll be a nice thing to see this fear pulling back. But the big volatility in this price action still means we don't have a whole lot of edge in predicting which way we're going to go. And if we do happen to pop and drop today, that could be a little bit painful if we were to chase into that. So watch this as we push back and see if we can catch some support in here or if we're able to just slide right back on down here. We're still very, very elevated considering the bullishness that we're seeing in this morning's market. So just kind of keep that in mind. Then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, pretty amazing here. Um, we finally got a big surge in um, the move yesterday in T2122. We surged past the 50% area in this chart. My guess is this morning we're going to gap up and we're going to be all the way back up here. Now we may not be all the way into the full, full on bearish reversal zone, but we're going to be close on this gap up this morning. So kind of keep in mind, we have gone from an oversold condition to an overbought condition in just two trading days. And you want to be watching carefully once again for those bears um, to potentially step back in and fight. Um, this morning. So watch that carefully. If we hit some resistance in the chart and those bears start to fight, be careful not to chase first thing in the morning and get caught up in the fear of missing out. But if we can rally back through and hold up here, there's no reason to believe that we can't continue moving higher as long as those bulls can stay engaged and those bears 
kind of get pushed back. So watch carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2107. Now, here's one of those charts that gives us just that little bit of concern in the market. First off, T2107 has just been in a massive downtrend here. This is the number of stocks above their 200 day moving average. Now, this is pretty common in any sell off. These um, get pretty extreme, but kind of keep in mind that we have quite a few levels of price resistance in this chart as we climb back to that downtrend. So as we rally up, notice that we're still not in a great situation here on T2107. About 40, 39% of the stocks are above their 200 day, which means we still have an awful lot of weight um, in stocks that are just trying to bounce off of lows, but still have resistance levels above in their charts and downtrends to deal with as well. And then if we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 also recovering yesterday, but certainly wasn't the big recovery I think a lot of folks would have hoped for in that these are the number of stocks that are above their 40 day moving average. We're only looking at about 31% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. And we still have quite a bit of resistance levels above, which, which means that we have a lot of charts that are down and they are popping up off of the lows, but they're popping into price resistance levels and downtrends as they rally back up. So watch those carefully. We could hit those resistance levels, turn around and go back down. So watch carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 did pull back nicely yesterday. And I've been talking about this for a while that if we were to jump, above this level, the question is always going to be not the first move. That big failure move is never the big selling wave. That big selling move in the first is the setup for the potential correction. So watch that carefully. We want to see this pushing back down underneath this area. If this were to hold higher in here and hold off of these levels of support in the chart, and then start to push the other way. That's where a true correction could begin. So watch carefully for that. Remember, any time we have a topping pattern, any topping pattern in the market is never a straight line move. It's always a process. There'll always be a period of high volatility as we work through the details of that move, whether or not the bulls can regain control or the bears maintain that control. That volatility gets really extreme and we're certainly seeing that right now. So watch that carefully that possibility does exist. I'm not saying that that will be the case. We may go right back to new highs, but watch carefully for that. Don't get caught um, chasing too many trades um, as we extend this market out. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a couple things we're going to want to be paying attention to this morning. I'm not sure they're going to be major market movers, but we'll want to pay attention to them. Um, international trading goods this morning. Remember, we have a ugly, ugly trade deficit right now. and We don't seem to care about it. Now they are looking for that to improve um, this month. So watch that carefully on that number today. That could actually serve to be a bullish move for us today if it comes in as expected. Um, also productivity and cost. They're looking, uh, consensus is suggesting that our productivity declined um, this month. Uh, notice we go from an, or, or excuse me, improved, go from a negative 0.5 to a negative 0.4. Um, and that our labor costs um, stayed stable. Now that'll be the one that we'll have to watch carefully if those labor costs continue to go up. Um, that's that inflationary number that we'll want to keep a close eye on. And then um, that's pretty much it for the day. So um, except for some political stuff. And remember, we've got um, President Biden making a call to Vladimir Putin today. 170,000 troops amassed on the Ukraine border. Order. It looks like um, there is a potential of an invasion. Now that could have major market ramifications. And let's also keep in mind that at the same time, China is increasing its aggression against Taiwan. So we've got a two front um, situation and really could be world changing things 
that could occur, occur if those two things happen. So you'll always want to keep in mind that those events could really change sentiment of the market very, very quickly. Um, watch that news carefully on those. Let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, we have 28 companies on the calendar. A, a, a large number of them are unconfirmed, but we do have some reports that we'll definitely want to be paying attention to today that are notable. Take a look at Toll Brothers. TOL will be reporting today. Watch that carefully. This has been stretching up. One of the things that's, that's really been fascinating this season is our willingness to chase a stock into the earnings report man high risk and we've seen a lot of folks be punished by that if those earnings um, happen to not be good so be careful here um, but toll brothers new record highs as we head into earnings let's take a look at azo autozone will be um AZO, there we go. AZO will be reporting today. Looks like they're trying to gap higher, possible new record highs in AutoZone. Now this has been in a beautiful upside trend. Looks like they're wanting to continue that this morning. Take a look at Casey. KC General Stores. This has been in kind of a nasty little protracted pullback um, in the chart, but we're holding on to, to some su support in that chart. So if this can get a good report, there is that possibility we can break that downtrend to the upside and get moving again to the upside here on KC. Take a look at Dave & Buster's play. P-L-A-Y. Play has been in another one of those protracted little downtrends here in the chart after this major surge. You know, we see that a lot. We get these big rallies and then we go through these long periods of consolidation, protracted pullbacks. But we're holding on to this price support here in the chart. So if they can get a good report today, it is entirely possible. Maybe we can break through this downtrend, start moving to the upside again here in play. So guys, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning uh, blog and um, you can catch that full list. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and then also please if you feel the video was worthy click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and remember it's the engagement in the channel that makes a difference so thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that I also want to remind everyone that I will be doing a live um, session here on YouTube on Friday. Um, I'm going to schedule that for 1.30, well, 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's do 2.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm in Central Time, so that's 1.30 my time. 2.30 p.m. Eastern on Friday, and we're going to do that giveaway. As a matter of fact, we'll spend a little bit of time talking about market te technicals, and you, um, we'll, I'll make that open to anyone to just ask some questions. I'll be happy to help. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. You understand the risk of each trade and that you never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at STX. Noticed STX yesterday. As a matter of fact, I placed a price alert on that chart yesterday. Um, a very nice bullish pattern here, and we have that potential that we could push on through to the upside. Keep an eye on STX. That may be one for the list, and maybe one I'll be watching here soon. So you guys know, um, I've been talking about Ford for some time now. Whoops, sorry. That was a two-day chart. Let's look at STX here on the daily. Somehow I switched to a two-day. There's that daily chart. So watch that carefully as we consolidate out here toward trend watch for that opportunity for that to push on through to the upside um, Ford Ford is another one of those charts I think we should keep an eye on um, I mentioned that uh, we've been continuing to hold this support level it's just not quite ready to go yet but a nice little hammer type pattern a follow through today might be just the setup you're looking for. So keep an eye on Ford. I think it would be a good idea to keep an eye on CVX. 
CVX uh, moved up through some resistance yesterday, as you can see, pushing up through. Good strong Divi payer um, in here, and CVX is one of those oil companies that's starting to look better here, move through the upside, while the rest of the, well, I shouldn't say the rest, but a lot of that um, grouping of stocks has been struggling here recently so watch that closely cvx might be about ready to go to the upside another one that i've been keeping an eye on is devon and i've talked about this one before i'll be watching devon right in here to see how it handles this resistance and maybe looking for a move and that good um, divvy payer here on that chart take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks interesting yesterday that some of those got really really strong take a look at PepsiCo we push right back through this resistance in the chart and it may be worth keeping an eye on this as we push up notice we're holding this long-term upside trend any rest consolidation or pullback that holds may be an opportunity for upside here in PepsiCo and I'm seeing that in other stocks like um, General Mills General Mills breaking through some resistance levels in the chart trying to push up strongly breaking out rest or pullback may set up an opportunity this may be one of those signs that we're looking for a little bit of safety in um, the market and looking for some of those divvy pairs there could be that little bit of rotation that's beginning to happen so watch carefully gis i think um, tyson would be another one to keep a close eye on um, tyson moving up trying to break out once again now we've had quite a little bit of volatility no doubt about it so i would like to see a little rest right in here um, to give us a lower risk entry into that trade but Tyson might be one to pay attention to um, I'm gonna put Hormel on that list as well um, Hormel a lot of volatility in this move push down pushing back up but if that can rest right in here look for that opportunity there for a potential upside move in Hormel looking pretty good overall so um, um, a couple others that I might put on that list. Take a look at FDX. Now, FedEx, a lot of volatility in this market right now, and it's creating these big wild moves. But notice we've created a little bit of a shoulder here. Here's our head. We're pushing back through some resistance levels in the chart. Any rest or pullback in here creates that other shoulder, and we have that nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern. So keep an eye on FDX. There may be some opportunity there in that chart. Watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And more than that, guys, I honestly humbly thank you for all of your support to the channel i never in my wildest dreams would have imagined there would be folks out there interested in information like this that is not full of hype that is not full of prediction thank you so much for supporting this effort and i truly truly appreciate it everyone take care have an awesome day and i wish you great success in your trading we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning